One of the fiercest rivalries in all of MLW resumes today. We have the Pacific Predators whose backs are up against the wall in the AL and the Western Wildcats with hopes of a division title still alive. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Meadows. I'm Kyle Schultz, this is TC3. On sort of a gloomy day at the field, we have the beginning of Slate 4 occurring today and it's two squads that know each other very well. Mm -hmm. And good thing for the Preds too, because this team, despite having a great campaign last year, they are struggling. They find themselves in last place in the AL here heading into the second half. And they have lost seven of their last eight games. So I'm looking at the veterans, Warda, Cratch, and Russell, all got to step up, start contributing a little bit more, especially on offense to get this team back on track. They need at least one win today to guarantee themselves control of their own destiny in Slate 5. Looking at the Cobras Magic matchup, a big one for the Preds in their postseason hopes. So one win today for this squad would be huge. And looking to get back on track is the Western Wildcats, my squad. For the first time, we lost a series in 2023 to the Metro Magic last time. So at the field today, we have myself, Nick Saylor, Jackson Pearson, and Austin Ford being our fourth guy today. Uh, kind of like our sub as Liam Jackson and Ty Smith cannot make it. Austin's last appearance was 2021, if you guys remember him. Uh, he played in that Mallard series and the Cobra series. He's also a World Series uh, finalist. He played for Tommy's 2018 Mallards. So hopefully he's kind of a spark for us today. I know he's got a lot of speed and a great guy to have around, so I'm looking forward to having Austin. Let's go to the graphic now. It's a flashback of the 2022 ALDS where the Preds got the better of us. They swept us. It was not pretty. Um, my squad led up seven home runs, including four to Ryan Kratz. So changes are for sure going to need to be made when we face off against the Preds now and moving forward. So we've taken that series into account. And of course, uh, you might see it in game one. I might not be the guy in the mount. I think we're going to go with JP here today, just sort of a matchup basis. The Preds have 13 years, 14 years of film on me, and they, they face me so many times. So we like Jackson on the mound in games one and maybe two, um, but for sure two games in the series. Mm -hmm. And rain was a factor in that series, and rain's going to be a factor today as the series goes on for sure. But folks, thank you to everyone who came to our Wiffle in the Mitten Tournament this past weekend. It was a lot of fun meeting everyone as always. And this is the last call to sign up for the Long Island Whiffs Tournament that's in Long Island, New York, coming up next weekend. The sign-up deadline is Monday the 14th, so sign up now if you're going to play. And time now for player interviews. All right, Ryan, it's been a tough year so far, and I've heard of some rumors about uh, some hostility in the group chat amongst the boys. Hasn't been great spirits, so what did you tell the guys say to try to get them uh, to rate the ship this year? Well, you know, we're fired up as we should be, so there's a lot of stuff going back and forth. You know, it's just five grown men trying to get things right. You know, this isn't the record we uh, intended on having right now, so we're just trying to get back, uh, back on track, and uh, I think today is a good way to start. All right, good luck, boss. Thanks. And Jackson, you may have a big role in this series today. How's your confidence going into the series? You know, me and the guys were talking after dropping the last one versus the Magic. There's little things that we had to do, but me and the boys, we feel like we're going to execute today and we're going to come out there and I think we're going to be ready. We're going to be ready, Tom. All right, good luck. Rain is picking up. Definitely going to be a factor today. Here we go. First pitch. Here we go. Here we go. First pitch. Here we go. Preds, Cats. Here we go, the full count pitch to start the day. Low and away, Kyle Schultz wins a battle to start the game. Ball four. Pitch coming to Sailor. Swing and a miss, buried in the dirt from Cratch, one away. Swing and a miss, another strikeout for Ryan Cratch. On a full count pitch, he ran the two seam in on the hands. And there is two away now for the return of Austin Ford. Cratch finds himself with another full count here. He's gone full on three of the first four hitters. Here's the pitch to Ford. Got him on the corner, strike three. And the Preds are out of the inning. One walk is it for Cratch. And he has a scoreless frame to start the day. And as expected, Jackson Pearson is getting loose for the Cats. Wind up the pitch. Ground ball hit hard in the Why center field, that's in the gap. Base knock all day for Ryan Cratch. He's sliding into two, but he is out. He is pegged, he's sliding into two. Very aggressive base running from Ryan, and the Cats will make him pay. Little dance from Pearson. Nice drop ball, that thing was filthy. Look at the replay on this, some violent movement down into the bottom of the zone. Jackson Pearson. Swing and a miss on a riser, and the Cats are out of the inning. Great work there from Pearson. Cratch, the only damage, who was tagged out at second. We have a scoreless first, folks. Oh, 
Got him looking. Great start there to the second. <laughs> Swing and a miss at a firm 70 from Cratch. He's got that two seam humming today. Yeah. Off the hands in the plate and a funny hop under Ryan's legs. Right between the wickets of Ryan Cratch. An awkward ball that kind of just stuck to the ground here. It is wet as the rain is getting more and more steady. Full count. It's Austin Ford. The Cats four hitter and substitute today. Walk. Base on balls. Ford is aboard with two away and is now first and second for Schultz, their leadoff hitter. Full count pitch. Got him looking, strike three. Ryan takes them off and takes care of Schultz and the Wildcats in the second. We're going to the bottom of the second. No score on the board. In the rain. Inside on four pitches. Warda is aboard. Swing and a miss. Pearson retires Cratch. Outside, ball four. The Preds now have two aboard and a little rally brewing for Ramirez. Nasty pitch from Jackson Pearson. Two away. Runner in scoring position. Ground ball that is fair in play. Nobody's at the bag. Warda is running into two. The Preds have issues on the base pass and Warda is tagged out. Oh no, a mental mistake there from the Preds as Warda is so used to being aggressive, did not realize he had a base runner in front of him, and the Preds run themselves out of the game. That is their second mishap on the base paths tonight. In the top of the third, facing Sailor. Got him looking. Ryan's cruising here. Looking again, another strikeout for Ryan Cratch. <laughs> just a tap, just a tap, baby. Swing and a miss. Ryan strikes out the side in the third. Yes. Great inning. He gets forward there on the two seam off the tin, and the Preds need one run here to walk him off. Real seven. Pitcher. Hammer in the right field and pass, Nick Saylor. Ryan will hold up at first this time. I think he learned his lesson there in the first inning. Lead off man is aboard for the Preds in the bottom of the third. Here's the pitch. Inside. Russell works back from 0-2 and draws a walk. The first two are on for the Preds in the third. They got something brewing. Here is Rudy. Fans on the edge of their seat. Cratched on second. Ground ball, that is. Fair came back and Cratch is safe in third. A base hit for Rudy on a ball that kicked back fair. Unbelievable. The ball was foul, kicked back off a patch of grass, and it's an infield single for Rudy. And the Preds have him loaded with nobody out. My mom learned my grandma's strawberry jelly recipe, and it's really good. Homemade, hand picked strawberries. It's very good. It's the one thing my mother can. Cook pretty good. I guess I don't know if it's cooking, but create. Ground ball, that's fair. Pearson goes home with it. And Ryan's safe. The ball kicked off the turf. And we have a walk off single for Alec Warda. The Preds catch a massive break there to end the game. And this squad needed it. This squad needed that one big time. And they will take it. Couple of breaks there in the third with the Ramirez infield single. Pearson's ball hitting the turf there, uh, and the Preds dumb. take game one to improve a three and seven, and to for sure keep their playoff hopes alive. Cats are gonna leave Pearson out there for game two. We are right back to work here at the Meadows, trying to beat the tough rain coming later. Cratch to lead it off, see if they keep the momentum going. It's gone! And the first pitch of the game! Kratz sends one to left field! Oh, I couldn't have called it any better. Ryan Kratz, keeping up with where he left off in the home run derby. 
And the Preds are jumping at the Meadows, one nothing. And shot. Swing and a miss. Pearson settles down, takes care of Russell on strikes. One away. In the right. Center ball is it. Pearson's not there. Base hit for Rudy. This is the prize we know. Energy is high here at the Meadows. Florida in the left. That's going to stay in the yard. Schultz makes the grab. Reds are hitting it right now, though. Pearson taking his time out there against Crash. Got him looking, strike three. The Preds strike first here in game two. Off of the bat of Ryan Cratch, an absolute shot. And it's one nothing heading to the bottom of the first. Cratch back to work. Hammered, but caught by Russell. Right on the screw, Schultz hit that one, but Russell was Johnny on the spot and left. Swing and a miss. Cratch takes care of Sailor. No look screwball! Ryan Crash is putting on a show here in game two. Look at the sequence of pitches to Pearson. Oh my goodness, he got ahead of him. And then he did the falling away slider, and then the falling away no look two seam fastball. What a display from Ryan Crash. Russell shaking that bat. Russell looking antsy up there. Swing and a miss. Down he goes on strikes. As Rudy steps in. Ground ball hit hard to Schultz. He'll go to first. And the throw is there. Out of play and Rudy will get second base. Aaron throw from Kyle Schultz. Rudy will check in with a base hit and reach second on the throwing error. Yes he did, strike three. He got him. Take a look at the replay folks, what do you think? He, he went. He went. Cats are going to talk over how to approach Cratch. And they're going to put him on. An intentional base on balls. Ryan will walk to first. They walk to get to Russell. Swing and a miss. Great spot from Jackson Pearson. The drop ball on the top of the zone. For a thundering strike three on Brennan Russell. Right here, Ford. Right here, baby. Right here, baby. Here we go, full count pitch to Ford. And it hit him in the shoulder, ball four. Ford gets aboard, Schultz is loving it. In the left field, Russell comes for it, and he's saving the throw, is out of play. It'll be second and third now for the Wildcats. Throw is well out of play, and now the Cats have both the tying run and the go-ahead run in scoring position here in the bottom of the second with one of their better hitters, Nick Saylor, coming to the dish. Ground ball, funny hop, that's gonna score Ford. Here comes Schultz, and the Cats take the lead. Saylor is tagged out at second base, but there is two runs that scored, and the score is two to one Wildcats. Big hit there for number nine. Falling away, took some off, Ryan cratched. That move before he go. Know where it's gonna be. Curveball got him looking. Four gets sat down on three pitches. But the Western Wildcats, on a day where Ryan Cratch was looking untouchable, string together a rally and score two. And that will take us to today's BL 101 trivia question. And we're doing a little bit of two truths and one lie today. So here we go. Which is the lie? And it is the first one. <laughs> Ramirez the left center! And caught by Kyle Schultz as he goes over the wall! That ball was taken away! A no down homer that Schultz robbed! Oh, what a catch! What a rob from Kyle Schultz. Right in front of the fan in left center. Yeah! 
One of the best defenders in MLW, showing you exactly why right there. Nice take there from Warda. He'll walk on four straight. Warda is the tying run. That home run that was robbed would have tied the game, making it even more incredible to play. Here's Cratch now. In the right, off Sailor's foot, and he misses Warda. Everybody's safe. Oh, a nice try there from Sailor. He did stop the ball, it was hit right at him hard. But he did not peg Warda successfully as Warda slides in safely to second base. Got him looking, strike three. Big strikeout for Pearson. They have two down now. And it's Ramirez, who was robbed in his last AB of the game tying bomb. Sailor giving Pearson some words of encouragement. Rudy Ramirez is all that stands between the Wildcats and a game two win. Ground ball hit hard, fair over the bag. Pass Schultz, here comes Warner, and the game's tied. Rudy ties the ball game. RBI single down the left field line. He got robbed in his last AB, comes back with vengeance, and ties the ball game with two down, as clutch as it gets. Let's see if Warner can take the lead now. Swing and a miss, strike three. The Preds tie the ball game though. Pearson keeps it at two to two, and we're going to the bottom of the third now, where the Cats will have a chance to walk it off. What a ball game so far. Got him, Ryan Kratz wins a battle of an AB. Yep, ball four. Off the hands, into play, that's a fair ball. Flips the first, he got him. Two down now for four. Big spot here for ones. Austin Ford. Now it's Ford. Got him. Oh! We're playing extra wiffle ball here today, folks. We're going to the fourth. Two-two ball game. Up the middle, Ryan Kratz, lead off base hit. Swing and a miss, Pearson wins the fight. One down. Yes, he did, strike three. Rudy on the check swing goes down. Two down now for Warda. Are you kidding me? That boy, Warda. Ball forward, Alec Warda. That's a big AB because that'll bring Ryan back to the plate. Right, two down. And there's two down. Got him off the corner. Pearson, big pitch there. Going to the bottom of the fourth. Cats just need one. Got him, strike three. Ryan Kratz, nice pitch. Oh, he hacked his up to himself, too. That was nice. <laughs> Got him looking. Ryan crashed. Ryan has had a great day on the mound despite that one inning today in this ball game. Popped up. That's in the yard. Crash calls for it and makes the catch. And we are headed to the fifth. Ball in the dirt. Rudy, that ball is going to stay in the yard as well. He got jammed just a bit, and Schultz makes the grab in front of the monster. Warda 
Oh, once again, skied it, and Sailor makes the grab. Solid contact there for Warda. But he got under it. Two down now, quickly. Full count finally in this at bat. It's been a long one. Cratched versus Pearson. Pearson pauses for drama. Swing and a miss! Jackson Pearson strikes out Ryan. We are going to the bottom of the fifth. Can the Cats win it? Ball four. Ford is aboard. Outside, another walk, and the Preds are in trouble. Bottom of the fifth, there are two on now and nobody out. Full count pitch. Massive, massive pitch from Ryan. Got him looking. Big pitch there from Ryan Cratched. That's the first one. He's got two more to go. Got him. Another strikeout at 72. Two down. Swing and a miss. Kratz strikes out the side after walking the first two. And we are going to six. Ball four, lead off walk. Nice. This inning has started the exact same way the previous frame did. Two straight walks. Inside, we are loaded with nobody out. Rudy, stay one. Spiked into the dirt, and the Preds will score. They string together some walks, and they have the lead in this ball game. Pearson struggling to find it. The Cats may need to go to the pen here. All four. Ugly scene here for the Cats as another run comes across via a walk. Four to two. Pearson will get the hook here. And it's going to be Sailor getting the nod. We have a Patley Cards pitching change. While Sailor was warming up, folks, the rain restarted and it started in a big way. In the right, Pearson makes the grab for the first out of the inning. Swing and a miss. Two down. Sailor doing a great job here, coming into a tough spot. In the left center, pass Kyle. Smart. One run scores. Yeah, run, Russell will hold up at third. An RBI single from Ryan Kratz extends the lead to five to two in extras. Hey, Russ, the Fast missed. It's interesting. In the center field, the ball dented off the coping and caught. Rudy safe at second base. Everyone's safe. Off the wall. Caught by Pearson as, of course, a ball in play. And it is an RBI single for Brendan Russell. Swing and a miss. Down goes Ramirez on strikes. Oh. That's the inning. The Preds put up a four spot in extras. Capitalize off Pearson getting wild. And last call for the Cats. Got the top of the zone. What a pitch from Ryan Cratch. One down. Just kissed the zone. Outside, ball four. Slider stepping away, that pitch is filthy tonight. Ryan has been mixing that in throughout this series. Throwing very well today and on his way to his second win. Two down for four, this is the last call in game two. Swing and a miss, down goes Ford. And the Preds have won the first two games of this series and shocked many, including myself. This team has the Cats number. Let's see if they can sweep here today. Asleep. Game three, just a moment away. Game three is set to go here on a weird day at the Meadows as skies have momentarily cleared up. Stephen McGlade on the mound for the Preds. That's in the center field with some carry. Russell at the wall makes the catch. 
The ball is kind of hanging out today, folks. We've got a couple right near the fence that on normal days I would think would go. That one's got a little bit more to it, and it's gone! Nick Saylor! He pokes one out of here. I wasn't sure it had enough, but that ball had a little extra sting to it. And the Cats take a first inning lead in game three, one to nothing. Off of the bat of Nick Saylor. He was due. That one's got a little bit more to it, and it's gone! Nick Sailor! Ooh, good eye from Pearson. Ball four. Swing and a miss. Down goes Ford. Swing and a miss. Great spot from McGlade. The Cats, however, do score first in this ball game off of the bat of Sailor. Wildcats ace Kyle Schultz will take the hill in game three, finally in this series. Yeah. In the center, that ball's got some carry, and it's caught by Sailor at the wall. Another ball that's hung up today. Yo, oh, ball four. Brennan Russell may say B. Inside, Schultz is right there. Got him looking. Strike three. Nice pitch. Two down. Oh, hesitation. And that ball is lifted and launched and gone! A three-run shot for Ryan Kretz puts the Preds on top. Here in the bottom of the first. The Preds lead it three to one. And they're looking to sweep today. After a rocky start to their season, they start this second half looking good. Real good. Kratz got all that ball, no doubt, off the bat. Three to one Pacific Predators lead it. Outside. Swing and a miss. Rudy chops that one. An ugly third out to the inning. But Ryan Kratz delivers with two outs and puts the Preds on top and in position to win another game here today. Here's McGlade. High slider. Got him looking. McGlade with a nice pitch there to Pearson. Ground ball off McGlade's hands. Russell will tag out Sailor. A fielder's choice. Ford cannot catch a break. <laughs> Two outs in the inning. Yeah, that's twice. That's twice. Got him. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The Preds are showing the energy. I love it today. This is the Preds team that everyone fell in love with in 2019. As you get a signature voice track from Tommy Coughlin there, you wouldn't be a good series without it. We are going to the bottom of the second now. What's up, MLW? This is actually my first time being mic'd up. Yeah. I, most of the time, I'm pitching in game three when mic'd ups happen, so the home run derby was a really special moment for me. Um, just going out there and, you know, having fun, you know, especially with my dad pitching. Shout out, Greg. I still owe you a steak dinner. That's on me. He was pretty upset that I didn't take him out for steak dinner. Looking. Sorry, Steve is kind of humming. Talking to myself right now is actually pretty fun. Oh, Jimmy! Nice to see you, dude. What's going on, buddy? No? Nope. Alright. This is kind of how it goes for me. Yes, four! Let's go! Nice! 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 What? What? Good play, Brennan! Um, MLW has kind of really just been a blessing over the past few weeks. I got to meet Dude Perfect. Um, if you haven't heard about that story, check out, pipe it up. Um, but I mean, that experience, everything with the Phillies, how could you not enjoy it, you know? Preds Nation, I feel like it's time I address this. Oh, no, 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 no. We're back. You got it, like below my belt. We're back. Tracked one down, right center cross. Uh, like, <laughs> Lead off walk to Warda. Yeah, I know. Ah. Ryan Crash moonshot! Oh my goodness! That may have been the furthest home run in Meadows history! Holy Toledo! Ryan Crash nuked that ball! Five to one! Wow! 
Oh my goodness. Folks, that ball was absolutely smoked. Easy 110 plus feet there on that home run on a line. Another Pat Lee Cards pitching change here as Nick Saylor's coming in. You know his second coming. appearance in this series. Ground ball up yes, the middle boy. past Saylor. And he's safe yes, at first. Yes, yes. Russell's going yes, two. He is going three. The ball's in yes, play. Yes, yes. And Russell's in there at third base. Rudy in the right, Jackson makes the grab in front of the wall. Russell does not tag up <laughs> as Rudy throws the bat at him. What's going on? We got, we got all kinds of nonsense going on. Let's take a look at this here. We'll, we'll, go, we'll, go, we'll take a look, folks. We got some shenanigans happening. The has been a long day. Brennan Russell is out after the shenanigans by the Preds. They had that coming. Got a little bit too high on their horse there. <laughs> Swing and a miss. And just like that, the inning is over. A wild inning. We saw a cratched home run, a bat thrown across the field. The Preds lead it 5-1, to one, going to the top of the third. Got him off the corner, Stephen McGlade. Nice start to the inning. Off the hands, that ball's caught. Two down. Whoa. Inside. Is that four? Yeah. That is four. Austin Ford extends the game. He turns over the lineup to Schultz. Here is the full count pitch from McGlade. Ball four. The game continues. Uh oh, folks. Ball four. And just like that, the tying run is coming to the plate. Do we have some more drama in store today here at the Meadows? That's when we started, though. Yeah, for real. All four, five to two. This game is not over yet. They are one out away, but the Cats are one swing away from taking the lead. The problem is, you know, it's getting so dark. Outside, five to three. Oh my goodness, folks. Full count pitch coming, ladies and gentlemen. The Preds one pitch away. The Cats one swing away. It's McGlade. Down in the dirt. Five to four. We got a one run ball game. And the hitter will be Nick Saylor. Ground ball to McGlade, to first. And he got him! Rona comes up with it! What a play! And the Preds complete the sweep! Wow! What a series! Shocking results here. Unbelievable. The Preds played their best wiffle ball. Wasn't the cleanest of finishes, but the Preds get three wins and are now at five and seven, whereas the Wildcats. Shockingly, sit at 500, six and six, heading into slate five. And this is why we play the games. Let's head to the outro. All right, before we get poured on, Ryan, real quick, uh, wild day at the Meadows. Good day for you and your Preds. What are your thoughts? Uh, I mean, it was just huge. Catching three against a good team like the Cats is, uh, is very big for us. Uh, not a lot of time left against until the playoffs, so we just got to get rolling now. Good time to get started, and uh, wild day. Didn't expect it. Definitely shook up the AL standings big time, so hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to MLW in that corner. See our last video up in that corner, and check out our description below for all of our links to our tournaments, our podcast, and more, and we will see you guys next week.